it's Sarah and I'm still making inchies. I am really enjoying these tiny little creations and uh, I guess I'll review here. I have about 10 now different six, seven, eight, yeah nine different inchy books and I started with this little B and I started covering chipboard to make the covers but then I've just started using paper um, I use watercolor paper because it's a nice uh, heavy cardstock. I did Zentangled ones. I did the, the mixed media, which I loved. These are so amazing. I These were my favorite, but I mean, every one I make is better and better. Well, I like them more and more is what I mean. Um, and if you guys are interested in seeing these in detail, I think I've done videos on this one, the Zentangle. A mixed media um, and then I'm not sure if I did the boho but this is what the boho turned out like and this is based off of some um, ATC's that I did using um, a couple stamp sets that I got and like ombre which I mean I don't know if this is true ombre but basically I just blended some colors on watercolor paper and then I used these stamps that I had, these cool, um, I guess they're mandalas or what is it called? Vintage wood stamps, boho. Um, so I had a bunch of these to use and I just stamped each one of these inches. I put piece inside that one. I think there's a word on some of them. I, I colored some of them in with... Um, gel uh, jelly pens gel pens so this is my boho one I added stickles you gotta add stickles um, and then I made this little tiny one now this is a true inchy book so these are basically twinchies because these are two by two but then I just use them to frame the inchies which are one by one one by one inches so these are all just inchies be true love let me go in a little and all I did to make these was um, cut apart I did a big piece of watercolor paper and then I just cut it apart and used different pieces of it that I liked like that had a real blend but then I colored in some flowers like I colored those orange yellow and pink I outlined it with gold pen love and just a little bit highlight areas with my gel pens and it's just a mandala basically heart and soul I think I used the rub ons just be there's about I don't know how many I put in here this one's a star and I should definitely put stickles in there right follow your heart and that's it so those are little inchies but remember I told you that I really wanted to do some what would this be called the shabby sheep oh Matt's home. hey Matt I'm making a video Matt can you close my door thanks <clears throat> shabby sheep based on these um, pizza boxes I made and then I made these ATC's too uh, and they're real chunky and I used fabric and uh, pearls and flowers so I've been busy I just got my desk cleared off <laughs> because I made this little this is a matchbox and I actually filmed it but it was all over the place because I really I didn't know what I was going to do. I ended up changing and putting these handles on the end which I love and I have several of these already made. You can cover these with paper, you can paint them, you can do pretty much anything, decoupage, whatever you want to do. But I was, I was basically inspired by this corrugated card pizza box. So, and then I have a bunch of inchies in here. A lot of my mixed media ones and just a bunch of different ones. Um, then I got out my fabric so this is basically the only corrugated part you can see 
because I covered it up. Well, there was corrugated on top, and then there's a layer of lace on top of that. Then I put this um, burlap ribbon on top of that, um, flat back pearls, and then I just layered paper flowers, um, like applique. These are kind of applique flowers. I think I just cut them apart from um, a ribbon, actually. A wooden flower that I put a flat back on. This is a button. Uh, this is just a burlap flower with a wooden bead in the middle of it. So I just played with tone on tone. I was going with monotone. And then I had paper under here. I had cut up this, uh, this is actually a Prima paper stack. I can't think of the name of it. Um, and I covered the box with this first. And then I was just like, hmm, well, I wanted to, you know, so I had to add more ribbons and I just, these little handles are from, I think Tim Holtz did handles like this, but they also have them at Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby makes their own. And I just used the little screws that they come with, but they're actually sticking out. I might want to put something behind that, but this is for me. And I'm going to keep some inchies and twinchies in here. I used buttons for the feet, so I just cut off the shanks of the buttons. And I put the same on both in case it was wonky, so at least it's, it's pretty balanced. A key, a key ho uh, hole, like a lock. A button and then this is one of the Tim Holtz arrows and I love it I love how it turned out I was I kind of started by putting white paint around the edges but that see how there's like white paint on the corrugated part but then I just stopped doing it I think I did it around here see there's the paper there's the paper and then I put the trim on that so now then I had to make some inches to go with it right I had so much fun making these, you guys. So I had, and then I found these wood burn tiles that I made. So I'm just going to throw these in that box too. But these are the inchies. I have, I had about eight of them, and all I did was, uh, see, look, they fit in the little inch. I used lace trims, burlap, cork and corrugated card um, and whatever I could find in my stash. So these little bling hearts, uh, pearls. This is a paper flower. So from the same paper that I used, I just used my little paper, I mean my um, a punch, a flower punch. Punch that out. So there's those three. And then I made this inchy book. I had to use the Tim Holtz mini book rings for this one because the way I laid it out, which is what I've been doing all along, although these are flat, you know, I had, these were not flat. So this is my cover, Twinchy, and I love it. I just, you, listen, I pull it all together. I go around my, oh, you can't see that. I go around my craft room and I grab anything that I think will fit on a little tiny thing. And I didn't use half that stuff, but I didn't use any of this, which I bought this the other day at Michael's. It was on sale for like $1.66, but I'll use it. Um, I, have, I have so many trims. All my little punches, my littlest, I didn't use any of the little hearts, I don't think. Because I ended up hand cutting the, um, and I have this, little flowers, see little pearls. These are just trims that you can cut apart and use. So I have hearts. Um, and these are like the little applique pieces. I cut them apart. So anything that you think is going to fit on there, basically, uh, that's how I do it. And then your desk is a mess, and you just play and figure it out. And so to film it, it was a lot of back and forth and trying things, and so it's just, it, it's, and it's way too long. I mean, I know you guys like long videos, but it was way too long. <laughs> so this is how this turned out. This got a little glue on it, and by the way, I just have to shout out to Fabri-Tac, my favorite glue for um, chunky stuff. Besides E6000, this is very quick drying, 
permanent. It, it is so good. I This is what I use to do this whole thing. So here's my front cover, but it leaves strings, kind of like a hot glue gun. So there's a little, it's a little stringy, but that's my front. Then I got, this is just Tim Holtz washi tape that I put to back, back it because I'd already glued this together. And then I stamped the other papers and I actually had two other pages in here and I just, I couldn't connect it. So I had to cut them apart. Um, but here I look, look at that little flower. That is from a piece of ribbon. And I don't, I think that's my last little flower. But that's what you do. You have to find like the littlest. See, I have these too. I ended up finding these little, um, these are actually in the button department. Sometimes you can find these. I think I might have ordered these online. Um, but you want to find, you know, the tiniest little things that you can find. And then that pearl is actually, um, I have pearls that are that small. Look at this. So they went from, you know, this size. I have them uh, this big down to this tiny. And these are flat back. So... I glued it on there, but there's a little tiny one. And then, of course, this is just a piece of ribbon. It's just this ribbon. And I cut one of the flora flowers off and just glued it to a piece of cork and put a pearl in the middle. But then when you go to close the book, of course, they're centered. So, like, if I would have put them off center, I could have put one in one corner, you know, just kept alternating and the book would have sat together better you know because when you go pearl to pearl it just holds the pages apart so I could only fit this many pages together um, then this one is just two punches I just punched butterflies out of this paper and didn't do anything to them except I had this little piece of a trim see look I don't throw it away but there's little metal, like, I don't know what you would call them, bling things. And I cut them off, and then I just glued them on to the butterflies to give, because I had used on here, I used, well, there's no metal on this one. But on the ATCs, I put little pieces of metal, so I, it was kind of rustic. If I could find something metal, even if it was a rhinestone or a... I don't know a bead of some type so that's on corrugated card and then the little butterfly this is just I think that's my last one too an applique butterfly and then this is um, ball chain I have a bunch of ball chain I keep all my chain and when I'm doing um, like say polymer clay mosaics and stuff I use this to fill in as grout but I got this tiny ball chain at Michael's one time because I just never seen anything so small I love using these bling chains too um, and then I have well that's the small one but I have the regular size ball chain too but that was just perfect for the center of this butterfly and then I use the washi tape on the background for that again I stamped these pages just with a script font stamp and brown stays on on it's called timber brown and then the back and I I put the white I had a white flower too I have white but it just blended in too much so I just put the pink one it was a really pale pink I don't know I think the white might have showed up just fine but no nope, really look it's bl so the pink one shows up a little better and I just layered the corrugated card with a piece of burlap and then these, I think, D, Miss D might have given me these bows, these special things in a swap at one point. And, you know, I have them and I just cut them apart and then you can use them on stuff. So I love these. Now, I don't know if this little book is going to fit in here. Barely. I could probably open it. I'll open it. It's so sad. Like I don't I'm like I'm sad because I wanted that book to I just maybe I'll make another one and um <clears throat> like I said, uh go like this when I'm making the pages. 
kind of make the pages so one page will be like that and then one page will be like this and then when you close it oops I'm not in the shot let me go up a little so like this and like this so then when you whoop, mm, actually if I keep them both the same when you close it this would go here and this would go there it'll still be you know I'm using pearls and stuff so it's still gonna be thicker but I might be able to get away with it that way but these are so cute so I'm going to make some ATC's right now I think uh, maybe I'll film that because I do have an idea what I'm doing with that um, so yeah I hope you guys are enjoying and you know what I think June might have been uh, doing um, ATC a day or something there's a hashtag and I missed it and I'm sure I could catch up but it's already mid-month and I, I can't make that many um, at a time and you know I can make one or two at a time but uh, anywho I'm just gonna chuck these in here and then I know where they are I still have a bunch of a uh, see I, I started this one but then it didn't go anywhere this is just a piece of washi tape and then I put two little pieces of like I don't know what kind of jute twine or something and then I really didn't know what to do after that uh, I could have put a small butterfly or something I don't know it just didn't look right and then I have these other these little angels I think I'm gonna make a couple inches with these girls I have these this is from um, and I never used it but I have another um, graphic 45 see these are all just papers that I pulled because they have tiny stuff on them see look I think this was uh, printables for those slides the science the microscope slides so um, but I, I didn't end up using them um, so you can do it use your scraps look how cute these are you guys I'm enjoying them every one and look there's my little box so all right that's it I just wanted to quick share some more inchies that I'm making and I hope you like them all right you guys thanks for watching